All right, good. I think everything's in order. I think, you everybody, think everything's in order. I believe so. <laughs> yeah. Good. There you go. Good copy. You're in. Okay. Okay. Well done. Thanks, like Welcome, like Norman. Good to see like you. Thank you. Glad you're here. I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> looking forward to what we've done in the board and uh, very important issues uh, to this community. Great. Great. You're going to do a great uh, job. How long did these uh, negotiations take place before you got to this stage? We picked. Mr. Kamalo at the end of March, if I remember correctly. Yep. And then the marathon came around and somebody got distracted and lost a few weeks of time, which would be my fault. Uh, and then uh, we kind of picked things up shortly thereafter. So it probably took about four weeks, five weeks to pull it all together. Yep. Uh, but uh, it's done and we're very excited. And I think when you see the contract, it's a pretty standard contract for a town manager and uh, very competitive, but also reasonable for the, for the citizens too, so. Do you have anything in mind uh, going into the, your job immediately that you look forward to accomplishing? Um, well, I believe it's an, it's an honor uh, to have this opportunity to work for this community. I'm ready to accept any challenges or goals that the selectmen and myself can set jointly. I, I don't have anything specific right now to um, to give to you in terms of uh, what I would like to accomplish off right. But uh, I think most importantly, I would like to uh, get myself situated and be able to begin the transition in a very organized manner. And that would be on what date would you start officially? Um, June 18th or 19th? 19th. Like that? June 19th? Yeah. And you're apparently very pleased with the contract or you wouldn't have signed it? I am very pleased. I, I think. Uh, uh, the community should commend uh, Brian for the effort that he put into getting this done. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're in the inner sanctum. Wow. <laughs> Going through the inner sanctum and to the outer sanctum. Hello, we're rolling in. We are rolling. What is it? This is the chief is uh, in uniform here. It's Jason Hicks. And what's your name, Chief? His name is Jason. Last name? Hicks. And where have you been all oh, today? Have you gone with uh, with Chief Irvin somewhere? I'm moving over here. You can turn this way too, so we have some light. Go ahead. That's right. Right there's good. That's all right, buddy. Right there's good. <laughs> so where'd you go with Chief Irvin today? Um, just here. You haven't been out yet? No. no. We just came in, just took a ride in from the bus station. Oh, great. Where do you want to go? Do you know where you're going today? No. Police been relying on the dispatchers to tell them where to go, what to do, and, and uh, without them, you're not going to really be effective at all. So. so that's the police car, but this thing over here is probably a lot more fun. You want to get up there and see how that feels? Give you a boost? All right, this is a 2009 Harley Davidson. We lease it from uh, a Harley dealer up in the Lemonster on a grant from the state. It allows us to use it for motor vehicle enforcement. The guys go out. You, know, you may see these ads on TV about clicking or ticket, like wearing your seat belts and those kind of things. It's all part of that kind of initiative. This federal highway safety grant money that wants us lease this makes me very happy because it gets much better gas mileage than Crown Victoria. So every time we're driving this, we're saving a little bit of gas. So, uh, you would write, do you write this? I do not get to have any fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. We have four officers that are trained uh, trained in, mo in motorcycle operation. It's actually a 40-hour course that they go to to get certified to, to, to drive this. Because it really is something that you, you want to you worry, you have the skills. I mean, just like 
we spent a lot of time with the police officers, regular police officers on emergency.